Once again, water shortages were spotted in a makeshift camp of Cox Bazaar, Bangladesh, making lives of the suffering Rohingyas to the worst level. In Thinghali makeshift camp, long queue of water pots and vessels were seen under the hot naked sun. Due to the very long time of standing under the sun, Rohingyas usually leave this vessel in wait for their turn to fill it. Those long queues start from early morning till late evening and the sheltering Rohingyas are suffering at a worse level. According to the sufferers, in case of emergency, Rohingya men, women and children have to travel far in the hills area to fetch water. They said they are in urgent need of more water supply in the area and even a simple task like water collection adds sufferings to their daily challenging lives in 10 makeshift camps. Although the international NGOs and much other organizations are seen to actively helping the Rohingya, attacking nearly 103 million Rohingyas became well an unrealistic goal for them as well. The long water collection queues are a very common scene in many camps across Cox Bazaar and no clues of resolving the issue is seen to be possible to alleviate the Rohingyas suffering to a minimum level. Fear of child abduction lead to the beatings of four journalists, including three Germans and a Bangladeshi by Rohingyas at Lombasi Ha of Kutupalong Rohingya makeshift camp under Ukia Upazila in Cox Bazaar on 21st February 2019. The three German journalists were in the camp to fill a story on Rohingya children and following that they took few children in their van to buy those toys and gifts to the market. In the market, few nearby Rohingyas saw the children in the van in crying state and when the children were interrogated. Children did not answer as they were just crying in fear of interaction with unknown people. After seeing the children's behavior, Rohingya men came into a worrying state and thought they were being abducted, which is very common in Rohingya camps nowadays. Following the misunderstanding, those Rohingya men started to beat the journalists, which turned their fear into a tragic incident. In the incident, a Bangladeshi police constable was also injured. Injured German journalists were identified to be U Ucho Yoli, Astatu Apal and Grand Staffel. Injured Bangladeshi journalist Mohammed Shihabuddin is head of the production of private television channel Boishaki. According to locals, all of the injured were seen to be headed to a nearby clinic by the Bangladeshi officials and are under treatment. Child abduction and trafficking is a common crime in, in Rohingya camps and due to that, few Rohingyas are seen to be very cautious for their children's safety. Since the Rohingyas' arrival in late 2017, hundreds of Rohingya children were abducted and trafficked by different trafficking syndicates until today. Many such cases are unveiled where parents still wait to know whether their child is alive or not.